In a Dakota aircraft of the Zambia Air Force, Dr. Coander returns from a two-day visit to Kampala, where he held discussions with Presidents Nyerere of Tanzania, Kenyatta of Kenya, and Obote of Uganda. The talks were concerned with a proposed common market and closer economic links between the four countries. In Cairo Road, Lusaka, the President lays the foundation stone of what will be the tallest building in the capital, UNIP's 10-storey office block. Due to be completed in 10 months' time, at ground floor level there will be shops, party offices on the first floor, and the rest of the accommodation is to be rented. At Livingston, the Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Mainz Chona, hears the Sergeant Instructor in typical Barrack Square style. But this is not the Army, they are immigration assistants in training. Their job is to patrol Zambia's borders between immigration posts. minister sees a practice night camp in the bush. To cope with the tremendous demand for new schools in the rural areas, easily erected prefabricated steel frame classroom blocks are being constructed. Minister of Education, Mr. John Wanakatwe, inspects a demonstration classroom. When this two and a half mile runway, now being carved out a few miles east of Lusaka, is completed, Zambia will be fully equipped to handle the most advanced of modern aircraft. Total estimated cost of the project, including modern terminal buildings, the latest in telecommunications and navigational aids, is just over five million pounds. This tractor, working on an access road, pulling two tandem sheep foot road rollers, develops 127 brake horsepower and has speeds from 3 to 27 miles an hour. The four rollers weigh a total of 30 tons. No, this VC-10 is not landing on our new strip yet, but it should do by August next year. Focus cameraman goes backstage at the Playhouse Lusaka to catch the final rush before curtain up on Theatre Club Gala first night of The King and I. The President and Mrs. Coanda attend this special performance to raise funds for the University of Zambia. Final call. It is almost curtain up. Yes, it was a gay night, a tip-top performance, and £200 raised by the Lusaka Junior Chamber and the Lusaka Theatre Club for university building funds.
latest additions to Zambia Air Force Fleet are two de Havilland DHC-4 Caribou aircraft, the first of four expected this year. Taking the name from the Canadian French for the North American reindeer, at full load it has a range of about 1100 nautical miles. It can land in under 300 yards and needs only 200 for takeoff. These two caribou are on their way to Livingston where they will be based, having just flown dead on time 66 hours from Canada via West Indies, South America and West Africa. Caribou can carry up to 30 passengers or two Land Rovers, can taxi backwards and maintain a steady speed of 157 knots at 7,500 feet, its economic flying height. just an ordinary shopping scene. But with this difference, it's old money being used. Although still current, this money will be useless on June the 1st. The shopkeeper advises his customer to take his savings to the bank to change his money into new Zambian currency. At banks and post offices throughout the country, old federal and southern Rhodesian notes and coins valued half a crown, two shillings, one shilling and sixpence can be changed into Zambian money. banking hall at the Bank of Zambia, the old coins and notes as they come in are sorted and counted. And then destroyed. Make sure you have only Zambian money on June the 1st. <laughs> 